Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this 3.5 gallon RV water pump. So this is provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a 12 volt pump. It's rated for 45 PSI, 3.5 gallons per minute. It's a diaphragm pump, it has a check valve, it's thermally protected, and it has automatic on off. So let's get this open. So here we have the instructions. I'm not going to cover everything. You're going to want to read these on your own, but here we have more features. Here it says quiet operation, self-priming, and this lists different applications. So you have yacht, RV, caravan, sprayers for vehicle sprayers, electric sprayers, cleaning machines, humidifier, food, beverage. So this is for potable water or drinkable water. Here are the materials and the setup. So I'll be going through this in my RV. This shows the different parts of the pump and we have some troubleshooting over here. And here's more troubleshooting. So let's get the rest of this stuff out. Here we have some thread sealant tape. It's actually a good size spool. This would be the fittings and the strainer. And here's the pump itself. So this has rubber feet on it to isolate noise. We have the positive and negative wires. This is 16 gauge wire. Now we can see we have two wires going into the pump and then one of those wires breaks off and goes to the front here and then comes back to match up with the negative and that would be the automatic shutoff switch. We have caps on either side. I'm gonna hold this over the box. I don't know if sometimes these can have water in them from testing. Here we have that half inch pitting. I think that's everything in the box here. Yep. So here's the strainer. So this can open up and we can take this out and clean it. So if you have sediment in your water supply, this can keep that from going through the pump. I was looking for the flow direction. So there's arrows on the front here. So it flows this direction. So the water will go in here. So this filter will thread on and I'll want to use thread sealing tape. I'm just doing this to kind of demonstrate. And then this fitting will go on here. And this will go over here. So our inlet tubing will go here and our outlet will go here. So to connect this up to my camper, I'll need to connect this up to the positive and negative. I got a package of these quick connectors here. So I'm actually going to wire this on here and wire the other end on the camper. So if I ever need to service the pump, I can easily connect and disconnect it without having to cut my crimps and recrimp it. Now this is not a requirement and it potentially could even introduce another point of failure, but I think this is gonna work well for me. So let's head out to the camper and go through the installation. Okay, so I'm out here in my camper and I'm under the bed. This is where the water pump goes. So the pump will be mounted here. Now this already has fittings on it. So I'm just going to reuse these fittings. If it didn't have these fittings, I would put new fittings on. And this is the positive and negative wire here for the water pump. So I'll be splicing into those to connect it up to the water pump. Now I do have power off to the water pump while I'm working on this. So I'm going to crimp on connectors with my plug to this and I'll also crimp on to the camper. Okay, so I'm going to crimp these. I have these stripped back about a quarter inch. So I'll insert them into the butt splice. And then I'll crimp it. Okay, I'll do a tug test. Now this is a heat shrink tubing, so I'll use a heat gun to shrink this down, and this has a glue in it also to seal it up. So we have that crimped up now. I'm going to do that to the positive here, and then I will put the other side of the connector here on the wiring in the RV. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is install the strainer. So that's going to go on the inlet side, which will be this side. So that will thread on there. Before I thread it on, I'll put some Teflon tape on it. So I want to wind this on there clockwise. Now you want to make sure you don't have it near the edge of the fitting and you don't want to have a bunch of extra on there because you don't want it to get sucked into the pump. We do want to make sure the strainer is tight. Okay, I think that's going to be good. So now this is ready to be installed. I'm going to reuse the fittings that are already on the camper and they already have rubber gaskets. So I'm not going to put Teflon tape on these fittings, but I will check them for leaks after I have water in the system. Okay, so I'm going to put the pump in place here. I'll tighten the fittings on each side. Now I remember which one is which. This is the inlet and that's the outflow. I'll connect up the power. Now I'll switch it on to make sure it works. Okay, that kicked on. So now I'm going to secure it through the grommets with these screws. I'm going to use these GRK 
one and a half inch cabinet screws. They have a very wide head on them. I want to make sure I don't compress the grommets too much because that will lessen the dampening. Okay, that feels very secure. Now I'm going to fill up my tank and we'll test this out. Okay, so I have the freshwater tank about half full. I've turned the pump on and it did cycle, so it has pressure, but there is air in the lines right now. So I'm going to turn on a faucet and purge some of that air. So this should kick on and off. I'm going to point the microphone towards it so you can listen to it. It's hard to convey exactly what this sounds like when recording this, but maybe it will give you some idea. Okay, so I let the pump cycle. Now I'm going to leave this under pressure for a little bit and I'll come back later and check it for leaks. So here we are at the sink. I'll turn this on. The pump just kicked on. You can see the water flow here. And it just kicked off. So I'd say that was a success. Now you can see this little pink. I do have some antifreeze in here that I need to flush out of the system. So that's the 3.5 gallon 12 volt RV water pump. I found this very easy to install. You just have to connect the wiring to your positive and negative. And as I mentioned in the video, I put a connector in here. So if I ever want to take this out to clean it or service it, that's easy to do. Now chances are your camper already has half inch connectors. And if they don't, it does come with connectors. You just supply your own hose clamps and connect it to the flex hose and you're good to go. Or if you're building your own system, maybe you're building an irrigation system, you can put some hoses on the fittings and hook it up to a sprayer head or something in the other end into a tank. But if you have some beginner to moderate skills on doing things like this, should be no problem. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.